We left the best to last, with some of these players playing their final game of youth football, and both already winning their leagues. Donnega D and Willowbank was set up to be a cracker. Donnega D captain Josh Blair fancy to go with this free kick. His driven effort easily saved by Willowbank keeper Sean Diamond. It was Donnega D who started the game the brighter. Connor Caldwell out wide here delivered this ball into the box. It fell for Aidan Gordon who was standing free. And he made no mistake as he hammered home from six yards. Willowbank threatened down at the other end. Lee McGuinness beating a couple of men before passing inside to Cornell McGuire. He cut in, but saw his shot saved by the Donegat E keeper. Into the second half and it was quite clear Willowbank were given a stern talking to. They came out and grabbed an equaliser straight away. Good work down the right hand side before Maguire nipped in to score making it one each. Maguire again the playmaker starting this move here. White man Paul Kennedy advanced before striking from distance. Jordan Ritchie saving to his right denying the Willowbank number seven. It was Willowbank who then went ahead. Thomas McGreevy setting himself up here and drilling this 20 yard strike into the bottom corner. They grew in confidence from that. This clearance here dropped for Kennedy who attempted a scissors kick that cannoned off forward Chris Dempsey's head. He had another go here, this time going over. Donegat E were very much piling the pressure on as the clock ticked down. This Aidan Gordon shot was saved away for a corner. And from the resulting set piece they grab that goal. The talisman again with this half folly into the roof of the net. Equalising for his side and potentially sending the game to penalties. We were already into injury time when Chris Dempsey found himself in a position to score. The fate of Jordan Ritchie denying the front man. If there was ever a time to score a winner, it most certainly would be the last kick of the game you'd go for. Willowbank cleared their lines. That beat the entire Donegat E back line as Dempsey found himself against Ritchie once again. He made no mistake this time, making it 3-2, winning it right at the death. All the energy zapped out of the forward after a fantastic game up front. That happened to be all she wrote. A thrilling end to youth football for the Willowbank players.
A hard one to take for Donegal D. And what a game for any neutral in attendance. As Willowbank beat Donegal D 3-2 to claim the treble.